I just thought I'd do a quick video of uh, these PCBs we picked up from uh, oshpark.com, I think it is. Uh, it was great, fantastic when they turned up. The mailman had uh, two purple parcels and they had uh, purple PCBs in them. So we've got uh, two, well, three, uh, I think it's three PCBs per order, uh, minimum. Uh, this one was quite expensive, but, uh, oof. Uh, it's quite a big board. Uh, it was a lot. These were less. But, you know, in hindsight, would have we gotten this? Uh, probably not. We probably just would have went with the, uh, the kit that is now being offered. Uh, this is the Lunch Beat, um, for those of you who are not familiar with, uh, some of my previous videos. Uh, mangled mess of a Lunch Beat it was, so I finally got a PCB on order. And then, uh, the fellow making them, um went ahead and released a kit. Ah well, not everything comes easily. So as you can see we've got uh, PCB, components are on order. So far all I have is uh, sockets. <laughs> and uh, we'll just have a look at uh, the back of the lunch beat. Now there's something not quite standard there and it's because we played around in Eagle for a little bit and we managed to get this on here. Now this wasn't my idea, I don't know what this is but I went uh, thirds with someone and they wanted an anime on the back so we've uh, managed to work out how to put an anime on the back so as you can see there that is most exotic mascot animal in the world that actually came out quite well the uh, silk screens very good um, for that one so that's the um, lunch beat the, uh, everything looks okay there's one hole up here on the switch that's a little bit crooked. I don't know if that was on the original plans or not. Shouldn't be any real issue though. Uh, so yeah, waiting on components for that. These two are from, uh, well, there's the website there, obddiag.net. I'll put the links for the lunch beat in the description and for this one as well. Uh, this is a uh, PickKit 2 programmer. So what it will allow me to do off these the header that goes in here uh, is program picks, which uh, we need to program, well, the picks themselves. I can use my GQ4X programmer for that, thankfully, uh, to program onto this, which can then program this, which uses a, uh, an 18 mega chip, which is not a pick chip, but uh, they are compatible, so there is a way to do it, which is why I believe that Microchip, the manuf manufacturer of, or creator of, uh, these PIC programmers, since they sell PIC chips, decided to move on to the PIC Kit 3, which I believe might prevent people from doing that in some way. Anyway, it's very exciting. It's all fun to read about. Go have a look. Uh, but these boards are very nice from uh, Osh Park. Isn't that excellent? So I'll have, we'll have a revisit of these when they're all done. Should be in the next couple of days, hopefully, uh, depending on where things are shipping from. Got a lot of different little components. Um, I'll actually, I will pop these up on uh, retrojunkie.net. These two little kits and uh, the parts we ordered to complete ours. Uh, off uh, Element 14 in Australia here, which is uh, Farnell overseas. And uh, what's the other fellow? Uh, RS Online, which is also here in Australia, local. Um, just in case you are local. So thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for an update on these two, or three.